In today's video, I want to answer a very common question. Why do I have no patients coming into my practice? I set everything up. Everything is beautiful in my waiting room. Um, I have a wonderful front office staff that is so friendly on the phone. Why, oh why, is no one coming in the door? So we're going to break this down and help you solve this very important problem that will save your medical practice from failure. Hi, I'm Dr. Annie DePasquale. I'm the founder and CEO of Collaborating Docs. We help entrepreneurial nurse practitioners match with fabulous collaborating physicians. Today is all about where are the patients? I have a great website. I have a beautiful office. I am ready to go and I'm sitting here twiddling my thumbs. That is a situation a lot of our clients are in and it, it is very hard you know, to see. We don't want this ever to happen to anyone. And um, let's talk about how we can resolve this problem. So number one is marketing. So a lot of people think I have a website, I have a Facebook page, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm good. That is not good at all. That is like the bare, 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 bare minimum. Like it, it, it barely counts for anything, to be honest, which I know is hard because you probably spent money on your website. But what you really need to do is start outwardly spreading the word. So either yourself or you can hire a social media manager is going to be posting very regularly on all your social channels an ad buyer is going to be buying ads on Facebook, Instagram, perhaps, or at least Google pay per click is very complicated. I've taken many classes in how to run those ads and I outsource it. It's, it's hard to stay on top of all the latest and greatest ways of doing it. So I highly recommend go to Upwork, hire a freelancer to run your ads um, and then market yourself. So step two would be networking with local um, obviously like community, like your church community. Does your whole church that you have a medical practice in town? If not, you probably should sponsor, have a sponsorship on the back of the bulletin. Or um, does your local community even know that you now are offering mental health services? Um, you should offer to make a presentation at your local library your go to your local chamber of commerce and join their sort of business um, entrepreneurial group. So you network with those people. Um, there are so many different networking groups where you you share what you do, but you also learn about everyone else so you can share to them. Oh yeah, Larry, he's a great plumber. So I'm going to recommend him to all my friends. And then he knows now that I am a um I do an ur I have an urgent care, so he can send urgent care clients to me. So it's making those connections, even if it's with your neighbors, being neighborly and friendly. Do all of your neighbors actually know what you do? If they don't, that's a problem too. You know, everyone that's in your network of whatever your friend, family, neighbor, church, school, kids, friends, parents, like all those people, everyone should know all about what you do, and therefore you're, you know, bringing them into your, to your medical practice in such an easy way, just by talking to people and making them aware of it. It's not a, not a big thing. It's not embarrassing. You have to get over that sort of, well, I don't want to bother people. Or I don't want to make a big thing of what I do. You have to make a big thing of what you do. You are going to be the most, um, you're the best spokesperson for what you do. And nobody is going to ever care as much as you do about what you do. So get over shyness. And even if you're an introvert, you are going to project confidence and um, just share away with anyone and everyone that you possibly can. And then I would say the third step of this process is once you finally get someone in the door, you are treating them like royalty, like they are a VIP. And that way, everyone's experience is so fabulous. Not only will they come back, but they will refer others to you. Make it easy for them to refer. Have business cards, have flyers, have postcards. 
and actually ask them to do it. If you have flyers in the waiting room, nobody's going to pick those up, I guarantee. But if you say it would mean the world to me if you had a good experience, if you could give two flyers to two of your neighbors or two of your friends, people will do it. People, you know, say, I'm a solo entrepreneur. I'm just getting going. I really want to help take care of a lot of people, make them healthier. Like this would mean a lot to me. If you say it heartfelt like that, like people do listen, um, people want to help you out, but you have to ask for the help. So in summary, you must focus on outward marketing, must build a network and tap into your own network. And third, you must treat that patient the best of the best and ask for their help in getting the word out very directly. So um, if you need help with a collaborator, we are here to help with that at Collaborating Docs. Um, otherwise, I wish you luck spreading the word to get those patients in the door. And I will see you next time.